Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Ramsey from iPod Touch Jailbreaker here. And as most of you know, today was a huge day for Apple. Uh, today was their annual media-centric event and it was held at the Yerba, Yerba Buena Center in San Francisco. So let's jump into the news. Uh, people have been speculating about uh, an uh, iPod Touch with a camera for over two years and today we finally got it. It's gonna have two cameras actually, a 720p uh, resolution camera on the back and a, a front-facing camera on the front which is going to be used for FaceTime. So how do you, if you're wondering how do, you, how do I use FaceTime on iPod Touch? Well you're going to need an Apple ID and an email address so that you can communicate with your fellow iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4 users. Let's see uh, what other design changes they brought. It's going to have separated volume controls like the, iPod, like the iPhone 4 but they're not going to be round, they're going to stay uh, kind of long oval-ish and it's going to be sporting the retina display so f for those of you who don't know it's uh, going to be 326 ppi resolution and 600, uh, 960 by 640 uh, that's the resolution size and the screen is going to be uh, 3.5 inches still it's going to be uh, uh, sporting the A4 chip which is going to bring you a lot of power to your gaming and a gy 3 axis gyroscope just like the iPhone 4 for uh, enhanced movements in apps and games. Now for the, oh yeah, it also has a mic um, so that you can do FaceTime obviously. And for the pricing it's going to be 208, uh, 229 bucks for the 8 gig version, 299 bucks for the 32 gig version, and a whopping 399 bucks for the 64 gig version. Uh, so you're probably asking what kind of, what uh, firmware does this, uh, was it going to come with this iPod Touch 4? Well, it's going to be uh, on 4.1, and what 4.1 is going to bring is uh, an update to the proximity sensor, and also HD 720p HD uh, video upload, which was not possible with 4.0 uh, or above. It's going to bring high, dyna high, high dynamic range photos, so uh, you can have a lot of better quality in your photos. Uh, game sensor, which is kind of like Xbox Live for your iDevice, it's going to let you compete and challenge people to games. And also TV show rentals, which is going to be 99 cents per rental, and this update should be coming out next week. So now let's go on to the Nano. Uh, probably most of you have been seeing these types of cases for the past month and saying, is this either going to be a, a new Nano or a new Shuffle? Well, the Nano is going to have, where is it, right here. The Nano is going to be touchscreen, uh, a 1.7 inch touchscreen I believe, and um, it's 46% it's smaller and 42% lighter than the previous Nano. It's going to still have voiceover, a clip on the back, um, volume buttons, and an FM radio. So let's look more at some pictures. Here's the clip. It's going to be a kind of modified version of iOS, and we'll probably see a jailbreak of some kind for this Nano. Uh, here you can see it clipped on someone's jean pocket. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention uh, 4.1. If you see that update and you still want to be jailbroken, do not update because it will unjailbreak your device. Uh, hopefully there will be a new jailbreak coming out really soon and I'll, I'll keep you up to date on that. Alright, so that's pretty, pretty much it for the Nano. Um, now for the shuffle, right here. They're, go they're going back to the form factor that, that, they f uh, that the second gen was because people didn't really like that you had to only control it uh, with, the in, uh, with the controls on the headphones itself so you're going to have this little click wheel thingy and uh, a lock button and that's pretty much it for the shuffle I mean uh, yeah not much to really go over there yep alright now for um, oh yeah so iOS 4.2 is going to have is going to bring everything that uh, 4.1 or 4.0 and above brings to the iPhone. It's going to bring it to the iPad. Uh, also, it's going to have wireless printing, which will be kind of nice, and you'll be able to stream uh, music throughout your Wi-Fi network. And this will be uh, available in November. The iPod Classic uh, they didn't announce anything about that. You'll still be able to buy it though, and everything's staying the same. Let's see. Um, Apple TV. So this is going to be uh, a lot smaller than the 
uh, current Apple TV, and as you noticed, they're not using the name that people thought they were going to do at the uh, at the start of last month, ITV. No, they're just keeping it Apple TV. It's um, yeah, all black and really small. It's not going to have any inter internal storage. Everything's going to be in the cloud, so um, it has to be connected to your Wi-Fi network, and everything will be stored on your network. It's about like it's kind of like a, ho a hockey puck form factor, and as I said, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, ABC and Fox are on board for uh, streaming television shows, and you can rent TV shows for um, 99 cents. And standard definition uh, movie rentals start at three bucks, 2.99, and HD rentals start at 3.99. And once you start, uh, you have 30 days to start watching, and once you begin, you can watch as many times as you want in 24 hours. Um, oh yeah, Netflix, YouTube, MobileMe, and Flickr are all going to be uh, enabled on the Apple TV, which will bring you a lot of functionality and a, a reason to actually buy it. Um, and oh yeah, you can use your uh, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch as a remote to your Apple TV. And I think that's pretty much it for the the Apple TV. Netflix will be really great uh, streaming all your movies to there. And finally, let's move on to iTunes 10. So they changed the logo a bit. Um, here's a new logo. And one of the main things they were talking about was iTunes ping. So what ping is, it's going to be like Steve Jobs said, like a Facebook, Twitter uh, style, but only for music. So you're going to be able to like interact with other people uh, about your music choices and they can see what you buy so you can just communicate about that stuff. Um, right, going back to the iPod Nano, I forgot to announce the prices. It's going to be 149 bucks for the 8 gig version and 179 bucks for the 16 gig version. Uh, I, I will be buying the iPod Touch so uh, please subscribe to me if you want some more uh, unboxings, reviews, and I'll be doing a lot of jailbreak stuff. Um, yeah, please subscribe, rate this video, thumbs up, and thanks.